All right, just came to Voodoo Donuts. I got like their most popular ones that everybody talks about online. It's the O Captain, My Captain, which is like Captain Crunch with your standard glazed donut. And we got the Voodoo doll right here. And then we got the Old Dirty Bastard. So that one, that one looks pretty good. I'm gonna share these with my co-hosts. We don't got a fork and knife though, so we're just gonna have to wing it. They're probably just gonna have to bite what I don't bite. Yeah, that's cool, no, I'm not sick. All right, here we go. Which one we get first? The uh, old captain, my captain. Well, I haven't had Captain Crunch since I was a little kid, so. It already smells like a 10 out of 10, but we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking crunch to the next level. All right. Let's get a review of that bite. Look at that bite. We usually do one more for science, but we had a lot of donuts to go through. Trying to minimize the diabetes. All right. That gets like a... I love the crunch. Contrast with that doughy donut. Really, really, really good. Really sweet though. So, uh, 9 out of 10. Just because it's too sweet. Let's move on to the old dirty bastard. We're going to do the classic voodoo donut last just because it's the staple. That's what this place is like famous for. Here's the old dirty bastard. Looks like a chocolate donut with caramel, caramel drizzle and Oreo pieces, I guess. Damn, here we go. Sound dirty. Old dirty bastard. That was an old dirty bite. Damn. <laughs> ten out of ten. Impressive. Old dirty bastard hits. I don't know if I can finish an entire one. That's so good. The texture, doughy donut, chocolate, fire. So far. All right, moving on to the uh, classic, what this place is known for, the voodoo donut. I think this one's more of a gimmick. It has a little, uh, little pretzel in there to stab the voodoo doll. We're just gonna go for the head. Take one of its arms off, all right? Here we go. I'm shivering because it's like 40 degrees out here. Wearing a raincoat, it's not, not the smartest thing, but. Here we go, voodoo. What? What? A little butthole to it. God. That was a butthole? <laughs> oh, it's, it's, it's filled. I didn't reach any of the filling, but I didn't realize I had a butthole. Eat its ass. Yeah, get a taste of that cream. No. <laughs> All right. That one's like your standard, what do they call these? Long, long johns? Long johns? I don't know what it's called. But, chocolate donut. Might as well get the pretzel, right? Standard chocolate donut by itself is not anything special to me. But the donut itself is really high quality. So I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Not my favorite, but still not bad. Overall, the winner was the Old Dirty Bastard. But if I had to rate the restaurant or the donut shop as a whole, creativity, just the... the the creative designs on everything, the branding, the storefront. Packaging matters. The packaging matters, man. So I'm gonna give the store as a whole a 10 out of 10. Impressive. Some, some stores are like overhyped, you know? There's only one in the country and then they start opening up others. So you finally get a chance to visit it. But I like to say it didn't disappoint. So 10 out of 10 for Voodoo Donut. Here in, it's in Lower Greenville in Dallas. So if you're in Dallas, hit the Lower Greenville area and definitely check out Voodoo Donut. They're open 6 a.m. to 12 a.m. Not like your standard donut shops that close like at what, noon? Something like that? They're open all day. All day. So yeah, it's been another episode of Spike Reviews. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the little bell so you're notified every time I drop a brand new video. Be kind to each other, wash your hands, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.